Being active outdoors is one of the things we enjoy most about where we live, and it's an important way to stay healthy. But sometimes the amount of pollution in the air can affect how we feel, and our health. Certain groups of people react differently to air pollution. Children, the elderly, people who are active outside, and people with heart or lung conditions can be more sensitive. Even small increases in air pollution can really affect them. Now Albertans have a way to understand how local air quality affects their health. It's called the Air Quality Health Index, or AQHI for short. It's a tool that measures a mixture of common air pollutants known to impact health. The AQHI encourages people to be active outdoors and provides information on when to reduce or reschedule activities if the air quality is poor. It's available in more than 20 communities. It's easy to access and simple to use. Just by visiting the website airquality.alberta.ca, using the app or calling a toll-free number, people can get the Air Quality Health Index report for their community. What they'll see or hear is a number on a scale between 1 and 10. The lower the number, the lower the health risk. And each rating offers important health messages for the average person and for those who are at increased risk from air pollution. The AQHI also provides a forecast for later in the day and tomorrow to help people plan their outdoor activities. Sometimes people don't realize how the air affects their health or they don't know about the Air Quality Health Index. And that's where you play a really important role. You're connected to people and groups who pay attention to you and trust what you say about health and environment topics. We're asking you to show people why they should pay attention to the air. And we've made it easy by developing lots of tools and information for increasing awareness about air quality and the AQHI. The AQHI website shows the index for each community and has downloadable fact sheets, FAQs, and a way to order brochures, rack cards, and magnets. You'll find a short video and a graphic to host on your website that will link people to the AQHI. Of course, conversations are still the best way to get people interested. So when you're reaching out face-to-face -face on topics about air, health, and environmental stewardship, we'll send you resources to share with the kinds of people who need the information most. And we've thought about places where the AQHI can be promoted, like health centers, schools and daycares, to walking and running groups, and at special events such as Clean Air Day and Earth Day. Together, we can help people find out what kind of air day it is by sharing information on the Air Quality Health Index, so they can better protect their health.